A number of you have mentioned that you were struggling to get the page numbers to work right in your final report for English 235. Um, as you know, the final report has front matter and then the body of the report, um, and your page numbers shift between those sections. Um, to create continuous page, to create page numbers that change from lowercase Roman numeral to Arabic numerals, when you go from front matter to the body of the report, you have to create something called a section break. Now, what, what I'm going to do now is just show you very quickly how to create a page break using um, uh, keystroke shortcuts. So I can go Alt, I, B, and the default is page break, and I create hard page breaks. So when I hit OK, you'll notice that I now have five pages, not two as I did before. The other thing that you can do is create what is called a section break. So if we imagine that after all of the front matter, we have the body of our report, what we can do for that is we create a different kind of break, Alt, Insert, Break, but instead of choosing page break, we choose a section break. A section break allows us to have different formatting in um, different sections of the same file. So for example, if you wanted your entire paper to be uh, single spaced with an extra line between paragraphs, but you wanted a no indentation, but you wanted your works cited page to have the hanging indent format, you could create a section break there to control how the word processing software handles the default paragraph breaks in those sections. So I'm going to create a next page section break. And you'll notice now I have, uh, I think I did that. I shouldn't have done that. I already did it here. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This is a section break uh, change already, but that is how you would have created one. Now all we have to do is go back here to the front matter, double click, choose page number, and say that we want our page numbers in the top right corner, but also that we want to format those page numbers to look like lowercase Roman numerals. So we click that, and there we are. We have I for the first page number, II for the second page number, III for the third page number, and IV for etc. Now you'll notice that when we get to the body of the report, it defaulted back to Arabic numerals, which is good, but the problem is it starts on page five. But if we double click, into this uh, header section again, we have to click out of the other one, uh, we can go back up to page number format, choose how to format page numbers. We keep the number format at one, two, and three, but we start it at page one. And there we go. It is now Roman numeral one, two, three, four, and then Arabic numeral one. And if we add new page numbers, they will automatically be paginated the way we want them. I hope this little screenshot video helped you out and uh, that it showed you some interesting ways that you can make changes in columns or other things. Anything you want to change in the format of your paper, you can change and isolate from other parts of the paper by creating these section breaks. That's all for today.